Okay, YouTube, here's a uh, update of the room that was in the last video. That was just kind of an empty room. I finished the bookshelf door. Just wanted to uh, let you know how it turned out. So this is it. Most of the plans came from the murphydoor.com. Uh, I kind of had to alter a few things. So this is the only really fixed shelf right here. I can move everything else. I did do beadboard at the back. Uh, trimmed it out. It turned out pretty nice. So right now to open it, it's got a magnetic gate latch. It just kind of goes in. Come in here. As you can see, to help with the added weight, I put on a uh, spring-loaded caster from a, for a gate. Don't know if I needed it or not, but I just wanted to give it a little bit more support. Got a magnetic gate latch right now holding it. Eventually, there'll be a uh, some kind of bookshelf or whatever kind of hollowed out on a hinge to pop it open uh, to give it more of a locking feature. Uh, so the whole frame of the bookshelf, all of this, uh, this middle shelf is all three quarter inch MDF. Uh, the trim is just one by twos, or I think one by, yeah, one by twos. The shelves I built. The uh, back, like I said, is uh, it's one piece of beadboard coupled with a piece of quarter inch Luan plywood. Give it some more stability. I used four uh, gate hinges as well. Just to, I wanted four just to give it more to hold on to. Built the door frame itself. And if you do build one, you kind of have to make sure you give it enough clearance for it to clear because it's a, I think it's eight inches deep. So you'll have a big gap on this side, smaller gap on this side, but the trim on the outside covers everything and you kind of center it to where you don't know. It all looks very even. Again, just you pull right now and you just pop the bottom. That's it. So far, you can see how much it's loaded. It sags none whatsoever. So I feel confident I could finish loading it the rest of the way.